So as I was saying, you should intro it. Because I always try it. Why is it not even? What's going on everybody? Welcome to T3G. My name is Full Throttle. I'm Cerebro. How's That's it going? That's right. And uh, today... We're doing another, like we did our last, what was it, Marvel Roundabout, right? What yeah, we, we, did a, we did a Marvel. T3G Talks. T3G Talks. T3G Talks, and today we're going to talk about TV. We're going to talk about the comic book based TV series. We're doing a uh, mid season roundup. And, uh,. I'll be honest. It's been a it's been a heck of a season. It's been a heck of a season so far. Uh, you know, we should also throw in Walking Dead just for kicks. Oh, that's not so. A bad idea. Spoilers ahead. Yeah, if guys. You haven't seen alert. anything. All, all day. Just you know, we'll have like a TLDR. I mean, there's not even a TLDR. No. Just we'll just spoilers. just go watch the yeah, show. Just watch the shows. Find your all various shows. various methods of watching them, and you know, of course, through things like your cable provider. Yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I mean, Netflix, however you, however you uh, do. your well, DVR recordings. Amazon Prime. Yeah. Hulu. 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 There you go. Even though I hate Hulu. Right. Hulu. Yeah, we got problems with Hulu. Hulu. That's put this away. What is this? <laughs> Get out of here. Um. Anyway. Um. So we figured we kick it off with a couple shows that we were both eh, underwhelmed by. At least I was a little underwhelmed by. Well, let's start with Constantine because that's the last thing I just caught up on. Well, Constantine to me. Okay. So and the ending was good. But yeah. the show overall, I'm just underwhelmed about. Because the yeah. actor, the actor is like, at first, like the first episode of him, like just showing up as constantly, I was like, okay, interesting, he's in a mental hospital. But his acting, it's just, he, it's like he, he does this thing with his face and it's too much. I think that's what it is, because he tries to squint and like do these weird gestures. It feels, like he's trying to act with his face, but it ain't working. Yeah, it's not it, working. I, I, it almost feels like he's. Maybe not forcing it, but it feels like almost he's he's just like amused by the script as much as he is part of the script. Right. So he's just like acting out acting it out and he's like, This is a ridiculous thing that's coming out of my mouth, but I'm saying it anyway. <laughs> like that's kind of what I get from it every time I watch that's it. That's true. The first episode was really good. I really like the original uh female lead, I guess, the female co star. Um, yeah, that they kicked out literally after episode one, and then pretended that she never existed. <laughs> well, at least they even though she set up the show and right. the, the, the 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 engine of the show, the whole the, the map, the scrying map, uh, is the whole basis of the series. Right. They went ahead and still cut her out somehow for for whatever reason. I mean, it could have been just. Her. I mean, maybe she got a different part or something. Who knows? Who knows? From what I mean, from what I recall, she tested poorly. Maybe I don't know. I, I, whatever. I know there was talk right after the pilot. Uh, right after the pilot was. Shown to, uh, was it NBC? I guess, yeah. Whoever. NBC, yeah. Well, well, whoever it was shown to, right after the pilot it's was shown. It's Grimm. Um, which is, I think, in, it might be NBC. Maybe. I don't know. I don't yeah. watch Grimm yet. Um, but yeah, right after that came out, it was it was very much, you know, she's getting replaced. Like, it, picked, it got picked up, but she's getting replaced, and she's getting written out. I mean, except, really, written out to me means, like, she's going to be in, like, one or two more episodes... And then she was someone else will take over. She was in like one. they they were just like, she's gone. And one I think and I done. feel like they had like a hint to it in one episode where they were talking about uh, when when he took on Zed and he said, you know, make sure that she's not gonna uh, flake out on us. You remember what happened last time? Right, 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 right. That's the only thing I think of is maybe maybe we're supposed to believe that even though she was super gung ho once she found out all these people were in trouble right. that she kind of just like was like I'm going to not do this anymore like this is a bit too much for me I will say this like after one episode I can't say if I would have liked her or not I I didn't like honestly after first episode I didn't care for any of the cast members I, I like the, the the driver his his like friend that's there but that's not there it's weird it's great I like Is it, it. weird that I think he's going to be the traitor no, I don't think that's weird. Cause, Although cause right it, now, like, the, the whole way thing... he is, he's all mellow and stuff. Like, you've never seen him, like, react. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he's that, only that's had creepy few... to me. Yeah, I guess. That's creepy to me. It's like, I, he's never had, like, a really powerful moment. But, I mean, again, it you know, the the, the warning for Papa Midnight, who I think is played very well, uh, better, yeah, I do like better the, than the movie. Yeah, I do like and I like the character, though, as it was portrayed in the movie. But I think it's better than the movie. And um, hit, when he talked to his dead sister which is weird but you know interesting in character i suppose yeah yeah um i, I don't know and, and i will preface everything by saying I, I haven't read a lot of constantine 
what I know is bits and pieces and primarily from the, the Keanu Reeves movie. Yeah, I was going to say, all I know is the movie, uh, and I loved it. I loved the Keanu... Uh, Ke I really enjoyed it. Um, Keanu Reeves. I think it, his natural aloofness really fit with the character because he's kind of... Because, I mean, and in this last episode, she kind of pointed out the nun, uh, Annie. Annie pointed it out. Um, you, you know, doing what you do, you can't care about people. Right. You know, you, you, because what you're doing puts everybody at risk. So you right. have to make decisions that can't be affected by you caring yeah. about somebody. Yeah, yeah, So that's why I feel like in the movie, uh, Keanu Reeves, he has that kind of natural, like, disconnect from people. Right. I feel like he doesn't really... At least in movies, not always, but in a lot sure, of movies, sure. he has a very kind of it's hits him and a bunch of other people, not him with other people. So he's always he's always separate somehow. Um, so I feel like his natural aloofness and, and separation came out in the character. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, just move on from Constantine. But I just want to finish up. I like the ending. I like the fact that she was like, you know, whatever needs to be done to save lives, mm -hmm. and she shoots him. I thought that was a great like boom. Yeah, hang that, like that was a good finger. moment. That was like, a good moment. I really enjoyed that. Um, where did the other baby go? They had two babies. One disappeared. Yeah, because he gave it to uh, the guy. He gave it to Chaz. Okay. Yeah. He so gave I, it didn't, Chaz and I, Chaz didn't, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't see away. that. I looked away. Right. And when I looked back, she only had the one baby, and she reached for for the gun. I'm like, did she put the baby down into no, the no, water? Because no, no, no. that was the whole thing. Yeah, last no, scene. no. Chaz took the baby, and he walked away, and he already went up the ladder. Okay. And then she was still down there with him, and they heard the. The scream thing, and it was another baby, but it was really that demon, so... That was a creepy... That was... And that was kind of a weird, like, last second thing. Yeah. Well, no, it wasn't, because she drew it. She drew it, and he said they don't exist anymore. They're like a myth. They don't... They haven't been around. They've been cast out of this world. Oh. Remember? And then... They're and not. That, right, they're right, there. right, right, right. And also the chick that or the grandma was talking about. He's like, that's not possible because they're, they haven't been and around. And they're the ones and that they're are behind all the coming thing. back. And he's like, this is not supposed to be happening. This is that great evil. Yeah, that that, yeah, that was kind of the the, you know, the big revelation. Exactly, that was a big so. revelation. It was. I, I think overall, it's been a good first half season or first most of the season, I guess, since there's only like three more yeah, episodes. Yeah, and, and yeah, they said, th no, they said 13 they got out of the 21 that they Okay, so they, they did do 13, so four more episodes to finish more episodes. Yeah. the season, which I'm not, I'm not angry about. Uh, no, I, I mean, actually for, like for, shorter seasons. Well, and also for a brand new series, mm -hmm. I mean, 13 episodes, it's plenty. Just don't start something and literally, like for instance, I, my biggest, this is going to be a, just a quick tangent, but my biggest thing is like almost human. They like they canceled it, but there's so many things. Like if you know you don't want the show anymore, then at least finish it somehow. You know, right. give us a few more episodes. You know, if it's half a season, six episodes to finish the series. So like for almost human, they could have Fox could have just been like, hey, we'll give you six more episodes to finish it. Right. And do that. Absolutely. You know, Absolutely. just tie some things up. And and I I just hope they don't. And they said they are not gonna. They said they ordered 21, they're doing 13. They said we're not canceling it, we're just trying to figure out what's going to be a best slot for it. That's yeah, they're trying to figure out scheduling. Because, I mean, I don't I don't watch it live, I watch it um, I watch DVR. It, I watch it DVR, so... I watch it DVR, so... I don't have... I, there's no way I can sit down and watch yeah, this thing. Yeah, so I don't know so. what it's up against, um, but, I mean, that's kind of one of the biggest things for, for networks is trying to figure out what to put up against what. Um, I mean, I think Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. has done a really good job against things like NCIS, and NCIS is just like a huge powerhouse, right. um, and it's kind of a similar, similar-ish show. Um, so let's let's do this. So what do you think of Constantine? Like final thoughts of the the la especially the last episode. I think it was a really good mid season. It puts you it really puts you on that edge. Like oh okay, like what's what's next? Like where where do we go next? And it it kind of closed creepy because it did that the, the black you know the fade yeah. to black, but it was like moving away. Yeah. And you still didn't know if the thing was coming after because right, right. it was still kind of back there, like not attacking. Right. Um, so I don't know. Maybe I don't. I don't recall him explaining like why it wouldn't attack yet. But when she left, it just kind of you know the the creature wasn't even in the scene. It was just a pen on him dying basically. Right. Um, I mean, it's not a fatal wound. So, mm -hmm. and he knows a lot of magic. So I mean, I don't think it's I don't think it's a stretch to say he gets out of that. There was a easily. preview after. Oh, okay, I didn't see that. So depending on how far your DVR went, it, there was a preview after showing what he does in the next episode. Mm -hmm. Um, but overall, I mean, I I love the mid-season finale. I thought it was good. Once again, the the characters are tough to say that I like them just because everybody's acting isn't really 
it's, it's, it's kind okay. of poor. It's, it's kind yeah, of it's, poor, honestly. Like I don't want to say it's terrible, but it's not. It's not terrible, but it's not good by any means. It's like poor, okay. Right. Like, it's I, it's I like acceptable. The, it's I like acceptable. The guy that plays acting. Papa. He's like. He's freaking yeah, great. He's, I like the guy that very plays the angel. Character. The angel, he does a good yeah, job. Yeah, but then he's all got the that. main characters are like, eh, you guys, I could do with other people playing you. Yeah, so. absolutely, absolutely, in the same way. Yeah, there, there's a lot of mediocre. Let's say mediocre. Yeah, because I don't mediocre. think I don't think it's bad. I don't think yeah, it's bad. I've it's definitely not... seen worse acting on TV. I've seen worse acting in movies. That's and I awesome. will give them this: the you've graphics, seen Blood Rain. like all the graphics and visuals, are great. Like they do a really good job yeah. on that series. I'm, I'm surprised that I like the Angel Wings as much as I do. Yeah. Uh, usually yeah, I when like Angel Wings, yeah, when Angel Wings are portrayed in movies, even even in like high budget movies. They're always kind of weird. They're Either they're done, too yeah. CG or they're, not enough CG. These like job. look, they look practical but also CG. So it's kind of that weird mix. Yeah. So I, I I like it. I enjoy I it. I like it. I enjoyed it. All right. So next one. We'll do Gotham. Let's, Let's talk about Gotham. Gotham. So Gotham, man, I had really high hopes. I mean, you guys saw our. I mean, hopefully you guys saw our our preview. The first episode really got me. It really really got me. Uh, I was really interested in it. I thought it was. Uh, a lot of new takes on stuff. I mean, having Riddler work at the, at the, the police, police, right. off, police, uh, that's, police that's... Uh, station. Um, Cobblepot being kind of like a young, up-and-coming monster. Right. Like, all those things are things that are kind of out of out of the norm for me. Um, as far as, I, I mean, I think the Riddler thing is kind of a throwback to more recent stories when Riddler lost his memory uh, and actually became a private detective. Oh, okay. Um, so I think that's kind of a throwback to that. Um, sounds like they're doing the I know. It sounds like somebody <laughs> just crashed out there. Right. Um, but, Where are uh, my shoes? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I, overall, I like the show. Um, the, the the team over at SourceFed were talking about it. They, they made some good points about how there's it's kind of hard to decide where it's going. Um, and I think early on, it, it was. You had some serious stuff, and then you had... Like the you know the the balloon murder, which was weird and way like a really big jump into the like more crazy cartoony stuff. Um, the 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 creepy child abductors that was awesome. Um, I mean, it, it fit more into what I'm thinking the show wants to be. I, I, the, I feel the show wants to be kind of an unofficial prequel to the the Nolan movies. And for that purpose, I think it it's doing a decent job. It's doing a better job towards the end of the the, mid, the, fir, the first half. I mean, for me, I don't know. For me, it's a little interesting because I just, when going into this series, I literally thought it was just Gordon and just detective work all day long. So to me, it's actually kind of, so my expectations were, I mean, it was high for the detective aspect sure. of it. But I wasn't expecting anything more, right. unlike Marvels, so <laughs> we'll go into that in a little bit. So, for me, when I started watching it, like, the first episode got me. I was like, wow, this is this is awesome. I like it. You right. know, I was really happy with it. And then they started showing a little more, you know. They, they show you the Riddler, even though he's not the Riddler, they show you him. You know, he says it's little... Corky jokes. Right. Yeah, he's, and, and he's, and they've got those little handouts. Little, yeah, like, oh, by the way, he's going to be doing some riddles. Right. And then uh, I do like, even though it's out of the norm with Cobblepot, you know, growing up as a mobster, you know. I like that. Like, uh, but I like it. It's it's cool. It's cool to see, you know, maybe this is how possibly he's he's grown into it. You know, mm -hmm. like, oh, he started as nothing. Well, I mean, he's still, like you mentioned to me, he's still the guy that gets beat around all the time. But, but it's still cool to see, okay, this is maybe where he started. So right. I like it, even though it might not be nowhere near what the comics originally were. You know, like Right, and that's the thing is, I, I don't know enough of the Cobblepot backstory. Like, everything I've read Batman is more, in the last, let's say, 15 to 20 years. Right. And in that time, what I've seen is, I would say probably the oldest I've read with, with Penguin specifically is back to No Man's Land, which he was kind of like a area boss, basically. Right. He, he was the guy who got you the thing that you needed. And he was kind of like the the, the the dealer in various objects, which is kind of what he always has been in everything I've read. He's, uh, even in the animated series, he had the he had the club and, you know, yeah, you, you, yeah, would, yeah, you yeah. would go to the club to, like, find somebody. You would find information there yeah. and things like that. And that's kind of what he's been. So playing the snitch, I think it works really well on screen. Mm -hmm. um, 
I think it so too. blew me away when it turned out that like I did not see that he was working for Falcon. Don, yeah, Falcon. Yeah. I when they it, flipped that and it was I like, thought, oh, was right good. after the whole first I episode, it. it turns out he works for Falcone. and that blew my mind. I'm glad that to that. me was that to me was like, man, the I did not that, see that. The writing on that show is really good. I think personally, the writing is like, really good. Were, like I said, I think the it's, first it's couple episodes Goyer, were though, a little weird. So I mean. I mean, yeah, Goyer. Yeah, you can't. I, I'm just glad that they they finally gave Goyer something to run with, something kind of his own. Yeah, because absolutely. I I would still love him to do the Flash script that he he wrote ten years ago now. Really? They, he submitted a Flash script ages. This was when Wizard was still around. Right, Wizard right. reported it. He had submitted a Flash script for a movie that was. Uh, as they described it, was a generational tale, which is, which to me is what Flash is all about. It's about right, right, right. the various generations of the Flash and how they influence each other. And they shut it down. And they shut down his other movie, which was supposed to be Supermax. Um, they, that is still maybe happening, um, which is supposed to be Arrow, like, without anything, undercover in prison mm. with all the people he's put there. Mm. Um... So that's, and I don't know if that's happening because I'm thinking the show kind of took over for that. Right, right, right. Um, so I, I like the fact that he's kind of the, the helming that show and I think he's doing a really good job with it. I think um, the writing's gotten better. Um, as we were talking about the other day, I think the one thing that's kind of inconsistent is no one can decide what year it is. Um, yeah, I think they've got like a table of ten people, and everyone's like, "All right, well, then he calls him on his cell phone, and then is like, well, then he's gonna do a typewriter thing." Was well, like, if he's using a flip, but at the, least a flip phone. But the cars look like they're because they're all boxy cars right, from so, the eighties, and so they're from like, the eighties. Yeah, the 80s suits boxy are car. more like an eighties style suits, right? Everyone's wearing. dressing more in like a late seventies, so early eighties. So it's tough 80s. to say, but then they got a flip phone. Like he pulls out a right, flip he's phone. He's like, "Oh, let me answer my cell phone real so, quick." I'm like, "That's two thousand and three. So like, it's, it's where is this say, coming Yeah, it's from? tough to say what year it's in. I think for me, what what Gotham is. I think everything so far for me, I haven't had any issues. Even the some of the like out of the norm stuff, mm -hmm. uh, like with the balloons, I didn't find that weird at all. Because somehow they explained it through science, and I was perfectly fine with it. Just some mm -hmm. science genius was got his hands on this freaking helium slash whatever gas it is, and. And you know, and that's how it worked out. And I thought they worked, did that good. The only thing with me, and it's not that I hate it. It's just I wasn't expecting as much. I expected to see the Wayne's murder. I did not expect to see Bruce in it as much. Uh, my biggest thing is like Bruce and and uh, Cat constantly like meeting each other and being together. Because obviously, I don't know from everything that I know, Bruce never meets. Cat until you know they're older until you know right. he's Batman and she's Cat. So to Absolutely. me, it's like to see them as children and like he might be getting some of his experience through her. It's a little bit. I, I don't know the word I would want to use, but it's just it's a little it's it's not sitting right with me. You know what I'm saying? But I still love the I think the show is still great. Now when it comes down to the mid season finale, it was just an episode. It was just literally an episode, hey, you know, they're being chased, mm -hmm. that's it. Like, we're going to resolve that, and that's it. And then Cat disappears, and it that's it. It looks like, um, and actually, I didn't realize this, but it looks like... Okay, it looks like it was extended to 22 episodes, but so far, there's, um, there's only been announced 12. So I'm thinking that originally it was only supposed to be 16 episodes right. for the first season. Right. Um, so they expanded it to 22, but they stopped at uh, 10 is the most recent one, and the next to January 5th. Well, so I mean, me, we're pretty close to the I'll next say this, to me, I don't think they planned it as a, as a split season. I'll, I will say this. To me, it's Fox, so I take everything with a grain of salt with Fox. So Fox. like them canceling this show just to cancel it because they're like, oh, 10 million viewers is not enough. <laughs> I expect out of Fox because yeah. they got a lot of viewers through mm -hmm. for uh, once again uh, almost human, but apparently not enough for them, so they just canceled right. it. So right, yeah, I mean the 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 running gag at, you know on the internet and you know with people who review shows go to Fox to die. Basically, uh, yeah. you, you don't you don't premiere a show on Fox and expect it to be six seasons in a movie to, to right. quite a phrase. Yeah. But um, it, it's very much a. Uh, 
it, it's it's up in the air, I feel. Because, I mean, even if I'm looking at the wiki right now, it only shows up through 12. And usually, even, like, I mean, it any other the series. Views too, for most of those episodes. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure the views are there if you look at it. I mean, 649, yeah. 663, I mean... They're in the six million. High, so, high millions. So, yeah, yeah. First so. episode, first the pilot was eight plus million, but it evened out at about six, six and six and a half. Yeah. So I mean, hopefully they don't cancel it, but I've seen them cancel with higher numbers. Absolutely. So, Absolutely. It's just, it's, it's, and it's it's one of those things that if if, it, if they don't feel like it's making them money, they might cancel it. They might put it back to the original sixteen. Um, I mean, like I said, all I've seen right now is twelve that are being reported. So. Maybe they don't even have titles for the next four or eighteen or whatever. Who knows? Who knows? Uh, Who knows? It, it's it's very it's up in the air because it's Fox. Right. Um, I, I'm very much with you. I think the the I guess mid season for that would be. Yeah. It was just an episode. It was just an episode. It wasn't anything spectacular. You know, they got chased through the city, kind of. Yeah. And 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 that's kind of it. You know, you saw Bat, You know, you saw Bruce Wayne jump the building and just make it and then you know it was supposed to be like one of the first first things you know he's done something like that so mm -hmm. it's like but it wasn't anything special as much as i love the series it I was think just a mid it was just an episode mm -hmm. like it wasn't a like constantly had more of a like wow that was a cool mid-season mm -hmm. and i i don't like that show nowhere near as much as gotham where gotham i like it so much but their mid-season was like right yeah. it was just an episode it was just an episode yeah so you know, I, I'm still hoping that they, you know, Fox doesn't cancel it, so and just keeps going with it because I think overall it's still a great show. Uh, yeah, some people might might have wanted more out of it. Some people might have wanted less out of it. Um, but to me, I think overall it's a great show. I think a lot of people just enjoy it for what it is, and uh, hopefully they continue on. I don't know, that's what I'm, I'm hoping. I mean, if they get to play it out, I'm hoping that they. At least, kind of try to reestablish some of the canon v p pieces. Like to me, uh, Ivy Pepper, uh, that was a huge gimme, and I really didn't like it when she introduced herself as Ivy, uh, because her name, no matter where you read it, is Pamela Isley. Um, so oh yeah, and, and the thinking, finale, right? Yeah, yeah, that's right. And she, and then you know they 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 met because I thought maybe she was given her nickname when she was at the Pepper House at, sure. in the first episode. But she wasn't because then later, again, she's Ivy Pepper. They even list her as Ivy Pepper on the show, on, on the wiki. So I, I think, I'm hoping that somehow she gets adopted into the Isley family and right. they, they rename her uh, to kind of maybe try to distance her from her past life. Sure. Uh, because they definitely established that she's kind of psycho. The, yeah, clearly. The they, Harvey, they clearly the Harvey Dent psychosis, I think, is a bit much. Yeah, see, um, that's, that's one Just because I've I never really about. seen Harvey Dent originally, I've never seen any evidence that he was kind of a... Split-minded? Split, Split-minded, like, split like off the bat, right. right? And the whole, like, oh, you know, flip the coin, haha, it's two-headed. Like, I get it, and it's a lot of, a lot of those gimmies, it, it gets a bit tiresome. Like, Harvey Dent, okay, if you're watching Gotham... 99% chance you know who Harvey Dent is. Right. right. So the the additional, all right, we're going to make him lose his, like, just, like, lose it for a second, and then we're going to give him the flip coin. Well, the coin, I think he, I, from everything I remember watching, he's always had the coin, from what I can remember, at least, from what um, I've seen. Yeah, you know what? Like, they've always, the... they've, they've always shown him with that kind of coin, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but the whole him, like, really just snapping on the guy, like, he was about to do something, like, I, that felt... It felt too much. That part definitely, because I'm like, yeah. I don't remember ever seeing Harvey that way until he had his issue where right. he had Two Face. You know, mm -hmm. like I've never seen. Especially him with now, split. especially at this point, he's still kind of like coming up in the. Yeah, he's not even law. nowhere near being. He's not even. He's not. Yeah, he's not even at the level of, of his legal career for him to kind of have that bitterness behind him. Because I think really that's what happened to Harvey Dent is when when he got scarred is that bitterness of like. You know, you fight, and these guys just don't get the the punishment they deserve. Right. And I think that bitterness just kind of hit him once he got once he himself yeah, was injured. I agree. Um, be, you know, because of one of them. I so, agree. Yeah. So I don't think I think that was too much. The coin, I'm perfectly fine with that. Even with like, I know you had an issue where the Riddler was holding the mug and it had a question mark on it. I was oh, perfectly yeah. fine with that. That was because it's just, just a, such a gimme. It's such a gimme. I, I mean, I'm I mean, fine it, it fits. With it. So it fits within the character. And like, if it wasn't Gotham and it was a guy who like talked in riddles. 
the little question mark mug would make sense. But to me, it's just it's just so much. Like him talking in riddles is plenty. But he so, doesn't like, always talk. Little... He just throws in like he's like he wants to do a riddle when he sees somebody. Like, yeah, and anything. But he it's like, talk hey, completely. do you know what this 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 Correct. does? Like, just just give me the report. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> like, and I feel like that's something that that. Granted, it's it's a corrupt system, you know, in Gotham. Right. But I would say in a, in a normal police department, that kind of behavior will get shut down real fast. Right, right. Like he wouldn't get to you know play play riddles with uh, people once he's. Oh yeah, I've got the report, but first riddle me this. <laughs> like I don't think that would fly really well. So overall, I think both of us. I think the were show's just, yeah. I think I the think, show's going you know, well. We we both we both like the show. I think we both were just meh about the f mid season finale. Yeah. I mean, it was just an episode. Um, I was expecting a lot more. I was, I, really was. I was expecting a little bit more for a mid-season, but uh, overall, I mean, uh, but then again, you know, like I think back and I remember, you know, when we didn't have mid-seasons and they were just going straight through and you didn't get anything like that until the last yeah, you, episode. Yeah, you didn't get, you might have gotten like a week off during Christmas. Right, but, but, so I mean, yeah, we can't really complain, but at the same time, if you're going to be doing mid-season finales, make it something you know to be like oh, i can't wait to see that December or a january episode or whatever mm -hmm. it is so like like on walking dead on walking dead let's yeah like, that's, that's a good that's, that's a, a that's a mid-season let's, let's go really into that, like. right let's so go last that. season was terrible for me so slow just just dog slow and like just the little bits and pieces of good stuff but it was just really 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 slow for me and at the end of the season, I was like, listen, man, that the premiere better knock my socks off. Well, I will say and this. And it did. I will it say did. this. It killed it. At the end of the last season, I was I was waiting to see Carl get shot. Because he was the last one pulling up, right? Right? They yeah. had the snipers. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Carl's about to get shot, and Rick's going to watch it from this trailer. Right, he's going to watch it, turn gonna around, and it's right? going to explode. And, and it didn't happen. Now, I... I've, Originally, I think everybody hated Carl. Period. I think everyone still hates but, Carl. But I don't mind Carl now because it's it's cool to not see him so emo. Right but now, now he's kind, time, he's kind of like not a he, grown man. He's, but he's not growing grown, up. but he gets it. Listen, it's not a world that you can just bitch. All right, right. Like, you, like here's the here's the here's you the gotta, hand that's you gotta pull your way. You gotta, you gotta live. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Your mm -hmm. dad's not a bad guy. He's just trying to survive in the best way possible. You know, yeah. like. Uh, so, I think overall Carl is getting better. But yeah, this season, I think just from episode one, they just it's been haven't really, stopped. It's been I think really there was good. maybe one episode I was like, I could have done without that episode. But overall, the whole season it so was far, really good. Was I'm good. glad. I'm glad that Rick made like made a real fast peace with with Carol. Um, I yeah, I'm glad they. I didn't thought Carol. That out. I thought Carol was in the wrong. I, I'll I'll be I'll be I'll be I'll admit that I was one of the people that I thought that when Car what Carol did was wrong. I think it was wrong. I think the flip side of that is like the the, the, the my natural dual nature. I think it was the right thing to do. Right. I think I was she was in the it. wrong. I think she was wrong for doing it. Right. Especially behind people's back like that. I think it was the right right the right move. Like logically speaking. That was the move. So here's, here's that was the, the thing for me. So I'm on the same position you are. So was it wrong the way she handled mm -hmm. it? Yes. Was it right because it was the right move? Yes. Yeah. So it was like, ah. Uh, but here's the thing. I get why Rick wanted her out mm -hmm. because, you know, when you do something like that, it's like, well, damn, how do you trust that? But at the same time, exactly. she's everything you look at, I mean, it's not like they don't know. She's done for them, okay? She, her husband got killed because it was, it, he shouldn't have been there. He was a dick. He clearly just wanted abuse. If he had his chance, he would have abused every woman that was there. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just how it was. So him dying, perfectly fine. So that wasn't just for her, but that was for, you know, the whole group. But everything she's done till that point was to help the group now there were certain things in that season where like she's teaching the ki kids about knives and killing and it was like i get it they're survival in the world skills. Survival but it skills doesn't have to be all sneaky like you know what i'm saying like hey i'm gonna teach these kids because they need to know if something happens I, and we're not around yeah they that need was... to know otherwise they're dead so 
So, like, some of the sneakiness wasn't necessary. But in this season, I'm glad none of that's been almost going on. Almost, yeah, almost it's, none it's, of that's it's been, been happening. Very much, it's been very much, like, everything's up front. The, the group that we have... Um, I don't really think anyone's keeping secrets at this point. I mean, I, th I think we're all kind I think of at now point, that we know that he's no been secrets, lying. Yeah. Because man, there were a couple episodes when you're like, man, that guy's full of. Shit. Which one, the the Reverend? No, the the, the Mister. I've, I've got the cure. Oh yeah, there yeah, was yeah. there was oh, several guys, parts. If there you was several. Know, I mean, listen. I mean, I there never, were a couple moments when he when he gave that really thorough explanation. I was like, son of a bitch. I he might actually the, be legit. I've never read the comic. I know in the comic you know right away. Well, not right away, but you know he's lying. You know he's full of it. Like they tell you. So if you read the comic, you would have known I that see. this guy was full of it as you were watching I the see. series. I see. But I can tell you right now. Some dude tells me he has the cure, and I'm looking at it, and I'm like, no, you don't. <laughs> like, yeah, but here's like, the thing. In that situation, can you take that chance? Like, can you I'm take just the saying, chance? The way, the if, way he he, was, if he pitches you, sure. first time out, he pitches you the way he pitched them in the, in the church, and he was like, boom, 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 and you're like, son. But the thing is, to me, he took, uh, like, I could tell he was collecting his thoughts because it wasn't just boom, boom, boom. Like, at first he was like, like, you know, he was trying to, like, collect it. Like, he was procrastinating a little bit. Like, he was waiting on it, and then he was like, all right, here's what it is because he got his thoughts together. To me, I could, I could see that. I could see that he was, but then again, I'm watching this third person. I'm not right there in the moment of, like, everything's trying you to kill You haven't me. lived the like, last three years. Right. Like, as there's like zombies living for your life, to and, me, so and uh, so, but overall, this season I really enjoyed. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. I, I like where everything went. I, the weird like farm of zombies. Not sure why they're not moving. All the other ones like went somewhere. Well, it could be. Who knows? I mean, maybe there's something like they can smell. There's something around them. Who knows? Maybe they can't hear noises or they don't know where to go. Because I mean, it's mm. all been. If you look at it, everything for the zombies is either they smell fresh meat, like human, or there's a sound that attracts them. So if they're that far away and there's nothing really that's attracting them somewhere, then they could be just stuck. Right, there, this you know is what true. I'm or this if maybe true. there's something nearby that's kind of attracting them, but not enough to where they're all just clustered in that one general you know, vicinity, then maybe that's just what it is. And right. I'm perfectly fine with that. Or maybe there's some, some of them are stuck. Who knows? You know, we really haven't gotten a full detail on it. Right, yeah, they didn't, they didn't close yeah, in. Yeah, so. Like, to me, in my head, I was like. That's a lot. You just, <laughs> you just, you just, you just hit the gas and gun it. Well, that's what I was that thinking. Was, I was, I was just like, like, oh, I'm like there's gotta, maybe, maybe you got 50. You a fire of, truck. I can't. Yeah, I was like, maybe there's like 50 of them They're in the brittle street. and frail. Like, I mean, there's 50 of them really. in the street. It's been three years. Plow them. Plow them, right? Plow them. That was my was thought. Thinking. That was my thought. But uh, it was cool. I think everything, the way it worked out, with them having to stop and then him telling it, like, he, because clearly he started liking the group more and more and he had yeah. to tell that he was on because he didn't want them to go he through screwed that. either way. Which yeah, I, I like, and I way. like that, I like that lesson kind of coming back right away. Yeah. Um, I really, really liked the end of the season. I was expecting... Here's the thing. So, when... when you thought she was going to die like two episodes ago. Uh, two episodes ago, right? Because we saw... Uh, uh, man, I can't... Uh, Daryl. Daryl, thank you. When we saw Daryl burning the bodies. Because I watched Talking Dead. So, um, they always show sneak peeks. And in the sneak peek, he's like carrying the two bodies. And she says, thank you. they're on top of a building. And she says, thank you. And that's all you see in the sneak peek. And me and him talked about it. And I was like, oh... Well, I mean, that was a pretty good size for Beth. And, right. And, you know, she's saying thank you. So I'm guessing, okay, well, something happened. I couldn't handle it. That it was too much died. for me. He did it for her, you know, where he, he burned her body so that way she wouldn't, you know, get eaten up or turn or whatever, you sure. know, it was. So that was my diagnosis right off the bat. And then it was like, oh, she's not dead in that episode. She's clearly alive. They're trying to figure out how to get there. And then the so last. So you were thinking she might make it. So yeah, I was I was like, boom, she's not even gonna die. Like yeah. we're gonna figure it out. I was thinking maybe uh, the kid that she helped, uh, the black kid that she helped uh, uh, escape. Nate. Nate. I thought maybe he would somehow get punished for because they were like, oh, we're gonna keep him. I'm like, oh man, he might like get shot in a crossfire because they're gonna disagree. 
And because I like him, I I think him being in the group, I thought it would be interesting, you know, to see him like he ended up, he ended up, he ended up, yeah, he ended up leaving with him. So that's gonna be cool. But but I did not expect, I you know, you saw Beth take the thing, and I'm like, okay, you know, if she stabs her, there might be a firefight. But when I wasn't was getting, sure when why was, she took it. Right, but when it was getting closer, I was like, Beth's gonna die in a firefight. I did not think Bet's gonna die. Stab, boom, gun to the head. I won't lie. I didn't see her pull the gun. Yeah, me neither. Because here's like, the thing: wow. this motion never happened. Because her her gun was already pointed up. Right. That means it was already in her hand. Like, granted, that must. That, I'm, I'm thinking that's probably because of the limitations of the shot, the scene itself. Because she turned around. Because who knows? Stab. Oh, right. Well, she would like, stab her right she away. Would she have was to first do this. talking to her, so right. she might have been already moving her hand. Just to be precaution, but we couldn't see that because I mean it was not the greatest angle. You know, you just kind of were seeing right. the faces right. to see the reactions. Right. So and that was and that was right right up that was up close and personal. Oh, that man. was that was her but skull loved, and then I love because it wasn't Rick. It was Daryl who who shot the cop. It it was Rick. Yeah, it was Rick. And I love that. Just no thinking about it. It's like you just did that. Boom. Like not yeah. Going no, through. absolutely. Like, so it's like, execution. She was like, I'm sorry, no, no, no. And boom, she's dead. And I was like, thank you. I'm like, that's, that's, you get a chance. Listen, mm -hmm. you get a chance. I love the new thing. Like, somebody mentioned, I think it was either on Talking Dead. Yeah, on Talking Dead. I was watching, and one of the guys that was on there, he was like, I loved new, Rick's new, new self. Like, one chance and you're dead. Like, he told that guy, stop running. He didn't stop running. He hit him with the car and he shot him in the head. And he's like, you're gonna, you're screwed anyways. I broke, right, I you, broke your legs. I broke your back. Right, you're you not had, you had a chance. So you had a chance. I, I, I love New Rick's uh, mentality because listen, there's there's listen. far too little opportunity for a safe life at this point. Yeah, absolutely. You and cross me seen, one time is the only time you we've get. seen. Uh, you know, we've seen so many people in the past that they were friendlies and they weren't. Right. So listen, in this kind of world, no. We've never lived in it, clearly. Right. But I'm saying, if I did live in that, and that's the experience I'd had, that is that's my at that point, that's my mentality. One shot. If you do something mm -hmm. that's gonna harm me and my family, because that's a family now. That's Absolutely. not even just friends. Absolutely. Then boom, you're done. You either we tell you to leave and don't come back, or if you're harmful, that harmful. You just get shot. That's why I love the first episode where they just kill all of them. Mm -hmm. uh, or was that the second episode? Second. I think it might have been the second. Yeah. It was like, the second, second episode, I think. Uh, where and I, and they, I loved they came it. to the, the church. I loved it. I yeah. love that they just executed they all of them. And that was that was a great line. They left and they're like, they don't get to live. No. 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 Because they already, they already gave you the chance when they, you know, yes, did they ruin your home? Yeah, but you're also carnivores. Like, you're, you're ready to eat, you know, you're cannibals. You're ready to eat people. Uh, you're lucky they didn't come back and finish you off, but you you decided to follow them to the church mm -hmm. There's no more like you just start shooting man. That's mm -hmm. that's it. The fact that he let him talk for a little bit was Was impressive because yeah. I was not just shot. Yeah, I had a promise to keep <laughs> Bam! Yeah, uh, that, that was awesome. That, that was awesome. I think it's a little vicious, but hey listen I, he think, promised was, I think the rest of it was vicious the other guys. Yeah, I right? would I would have just don't piece one bullet a piece done that guy would have definitely gotten like two it. to the legs. Yeah. yeah, the machete, the whole nine. Yeah, he probably. But I think the other guys, they didn't deserve the hacking. Well, she wanted to How hack somebody because his one, he died. Two, they captured him and took his leg. Her boyfriend, Bob. Oh, yeah. So yeah, that's, she, that's she true. needed to that's she needed true. release really some need, anger. Yeah, there was some anger involved. She needed involved to there. get rid of it. But yeah. yeah, overall, I think the Walking Dead uh, season, mid season finale was. It sucks. Did you see I the actually, after credits piece? I didn't see it. Uh, With well, the the guy from the first episode. Yeah, Roger. yeah, yeah, yeah. Roger, like, he was just marking trees and like walking or something like that. Or well, he, he just like walked by. He, he walked got to by. the church. Right, right. He got to the church. He like did the. He was gonna pray and then he laughed. No, I didn't see that. Yeah, see, that, it didn't record. My, I, that's why I hate my DVD. I didn't. I didn't even know there was a piece. AMC put it on there on the Walking Dead Facebook page. Oh, nice. Yeah, so I saw that and I was like, all right, cool. To me, like that's leading up to something, so I'm pretty excited about that because he was in another episode where he was just kind of like there, turned around, like mask off, and you were like, "Oh yeah, it's the yeah, guy." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, and then this episode again, they just kind of threw that in at the end. 
and those those signs on the on the trees that was there. They've shown that sign right, 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 right. Dur- while they were there at the church. So I'm thinking he's following somebody's trail. Right. He knows somebody who's making those marks. Now here's my thing. Now we're gonna go and finish up here on the Walking Dead, but I do have one question. From what I understand, Rick dies in the comics. Rick's I don't know. Um, I know I, I took a peek Because I heard he's supposed to lose an eye, just like the yep. governor, mm-hmm. and then at some point he also dies, mm-hmm. from what I understand. That's I, what I heard. I don't know if he dies. I know I took a peek at uh, the like first 100-issue omnibus, and I think towards the end, I feel like, yeah, he had the, he had the eye covered up, and Carl was still being stupid. Like, that's about as much as I remember <laughs> from the end. Like the end of the first hundred issues. Now they're not doing it to the book, so they're not. So I think it would be strange to kill Rick on the show. Right. Um, I think so too, because he's such. I mean, he's the actor. He's. The I, th- guy. I think. I think it would. I think it would destabilize that entire group. I think that'd be the end of the show. I think so too. I, I don't. I. As much as I would like them to stick to original material as much as possible, mm-hmm. I think if you kill Rick off on the show. I think that's it. I mean, you can say Daryl can take over, but Daryl's not a leader. He's like not. Daryl's not. Daryl's a Darryl's soldier. Saying Darryl, don't Darryl's, get me wrong. Daryl's a strong character. He's just not a leader. He's a soldier. He's, he's a good a, soldier. Yeah, he's a great soldier, and he's definitely able to take care of everybody and and hunt, but not in the sense of leading like Rick does. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah, has Rick. Like, did they show Rick, like, not be stable and kind of hand off his leadership for a bit? You know, there was, a, I think, mm-hmm. even beginning of the last season that was like that, when they were still in the prison or whatever. So that was yeah. actually two seasons ago. Yeah, two seasons ago. Um, so, but regardless, he was still there. I think if you just kill him off... You, I don't think it would work. I don't, yeah, think, I don't it think it would work. work. But yeah, overall, I think, see, I liked Beth at the end there. Uh, I thought her character I think was getting the strongest better. character. Uh, and it was kind of shitty to see her die. Uh, I kind of wish she... Not kind of. I do wish that she was still with the group. But, you know, so far I haven't... There's not one thing... Has there been slow seasons yet? But there's not one thing I said like, I hated this series or I hate this season or series for this reason. Like, there's been a slow season, but I've never hated the, the series for right. it. Right, so... I think overall, yeah, no, nothing. Nothing's really made me say, "All right, I'm I'm done with the show." Right. The so. last season started extremely slow, so I was a little worried, but it picked up a little bit. But overall, it was still a, a slow it season. It was a slow season last season, but this season definitely improved that. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Especially the mid. I mean, the whole season. Like I said, there was like, I think I'm trying to remember what episode it was, but literally it was. I almost want to say. It was the episode of uh, Daryl and Carol in the city looking for her. I, I want to say that was like a slow episode. It right. was just them like walking around. Right, right, right. It was just kind out. of a filler episode. Yeah, it it was. That, that was like the only one that I would say that I even liked where Beth was being shown in the hospital, like what's going on. I liked that. Like they explained that group real quick, two episodes, I think. Yeah. So I thought that was... Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Even that didn't feel like a slow episode. I want to say that was the only one that for me felt like a filler episode where the rest was just awesome. I right. liked it. Absolutely. So, overall, i say the mid-season definitely, was definitely awesome. Definitely a huge, huge improvement over last season, which is the More same Which is the same thing I say about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So we're going to go into that next. We're going to go into Agents of the, S.H.I.E.L.D. That's next. where we're going? All right. We're going to go into Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. So... We haven't really talked. We, we haven't talked about this at all before, but I was a huge fan of Agents of Shield when it first came out. I was like, "This is the show!" I was super excited, and you were not. I was just like John <laughs> Campia at AMC, man. I was like, "I see," but most like John Campia, he stopped after three episodes, I believe he said. And there's right. so many other people that stopped after three episodes. Mm-hmm. I. I gave it a full season. You choked it down. <laughs> I, I choked it down. I gave it a full season. I said, fine, let's see what happens. Let's see where they go with this. To me, it was nowhere near what I was expecting from Marvel. Now, I get it. Listen, I get it's Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. and it's supposed to be spy stuff. But I'm also thinking Marvel. I'm thinking Marvel, like Avengers, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., involved with superhuman people. Now, I'm not saying I want to see Captain America in there. I'm not saying I mm. want to see 
Iron Man or Thor, but I'm saying give me other people that might not be significant enough to be in their own movie or in a movie that's that big, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, give me something like that. Now, I will say this, like the first season, even up to that last episode, even them introducing the last three, four episodes, like what happened with Cap, now is involved in these mm -hmm. final episodes of, uh, uh, you know, uh, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I think it was because I was so disappointed with the entire mm -hmm. season so far that even that didn't like hype me up. Like, oh man, this, this is getting so much better. So I ended the season thinking like, I'm done. Like, I don't even, I'm not watching the next season. Like, I gave it a full season. They really couldn't catch my attention. And, and you know, they couldn't, like, The Walking Dead, you know, first episode. I was like, oh, my God. So, like, there's been so many seasons that, there's so many different shows that have done that to me. And to, like, a Marvel I right. am, you know, Marvel. The, like, the bar is be, way high. Yeah, the like, bar is way high. You you get these movies from them and they're up here, right? Like you're you're waiting somebody to be anywhere near where they are when they, you know, when you because if you look at it, you take Marvel movies and they're so connected. It's like man, talk about planning from Marvel, right? Like holy crap, somebody sat and, down. But like you got you also got to give it to them because they still plan that in advance. No, 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 absolutely. The entire absolutely. thing, the entire time of Captain America was planned. Sure. They just didn't tell anybody, no, no, no. including the actors. No, I, so then the the betrayal was real. I was uh, I was watching an interview with uh, with Clark Gregg, and they they sat down. They're like, you know, we read the script where, or they they sat him down. And they told him like, this is what's gonna happen with Captain America. This is the crossover. And then they're like, Ward's gonna be the bad guy. And they're like, we all kind of moved away from him. Yeah, well, they're like, moved away like, from him, but they nobody had even Ward didn't know that he was gonna mm -hmm. be the bad exactly, guy. Exactly, exactly. They started that literally. They 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 told them I think the episode before they filmed it. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys, here's what's gonna happen. Now a lot of people knew. Uh, they they all knew it was Hydra. They knew that. They said, oh, okay, Hydra's involved. Because I remember watching the uh, Comic Con that somebody filmed it where they were on the panel. And they're like, we knew it was Hydra. And we were like, we want to say Hydra, but we can't because we don't want to ruin it. Right. But it's like, but nobody knew that Ward was the the guy, the the, the guy that's going to betray it. We didn't even, they didn't even know anybody was going to betray anybody. Right. They just, they were but, just but playing along. But you know what? It had to happen. It had to happen because that was the whole premise of that whole Hydra. And I will say this, I like him better as a villain. I like him better as a villain. I don't like him as this like love struck. I'm, yeah, I'm that's gonna new. be the that's, guy that yeah, like, like brings oh, you. Your, yeah. Like I'm gonna bring you to your dad. My worthiness. Yeah, or something. That, but I did like the fact that he killed his d brother and his family, and then yeah, and then like he <laughs> sent out a recording and connected as a suit. I thought that was like wow, Ward. I mean, wow. it was it was a killer execution, but it was yeah. one of those things that like. The, that was that was a really well done plot line for me because I didn't know which one to trust. Yeah, right? absolutely. Because his brother either. was like, "Oh, that me was either. him. That was him. He was he was always unstable as a kid." They played that. And really then like good. he was saying, "Oh, my brother forced me to do it." Yeah. And you, it was really hard to tell who was lying. Yeah. And then right up until the end, I'm like, "This guy's nuts. Yeah. Like he's gonna kill his brother for something he imagined." Yeah. And then he finally broke down, and yeah. I was like, "Damn. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. No, and I uh." Uh, they play that that part of the see that's what I needed from the beginning. I needed stuff like that. I I get like I and I've heard uh, Whedon say. I guess Whedon had an interview and he's like, because he knew they were getting. They all knew they were getting backlash about the series because mm -hmm. they knew people weren't loving it. There were some people that just loved it, but there were a lot of people that also just didn't enjoy it all. They stopped after three episodes, and uh, Whedon came out and said in an interview, he's like. In a movie, I have two to three hours to tell you a story. In a season, I have seasons to tell you a story. You know what I'm saying? Like, the, we have 20 episodes to build a character. That's great and all, but I need you to catch my attention. I need you to hook me. Because if you don't hook me and you start out slow, you're going to have a problem. Now, not everybody's that way. Not, if some people are just like, oh, it's Marvel, I'm going to love it. And, you know, no matter what they do, it's Josh Whedon, I'm going to love it doesn't matter how long it takes, I'm going to love it. But to me, it's like, with, especially with series, I need you to hook me. I need you to give me that attention grabbing where I'm like, yes, 
and then just go from there and just do whatever you need to do even if you need some time to explain something that's fine but just continue that hook you know you need to keep my attention so that's kind of they, where I was at on they that. could have so they could have played in the Hydra angle more they could have um, the problem with that was gonna be that then you couldn't do Captain America the way you did right no absolutely because Captain America was like I, well, watching that movie was a huge surprise. Yeah, absolutely. Like, well, it's like boom, it's Hydra. Like whoa, well, that was crazy. I will say this. I will crazy. say this. Uh, they the, obviously everything's played well, and I think that's what's preventing them from having the show to be so well. But goes that goes from saying that the new series or the new series, the new season, definitely has my attention more. One, I love that they started out with. Uh, Absorbing Man? Absorbing Man. That and was uh, great. That was like great. They, that was the a guy, great move. The guy looked just like the dude. I mean, overall, he was huge, bald. Yeah. Like, he had to look... He the was only thing he didn't he have was, was the striped pants, but I didn't care. That would have been too it much. It doesn't matter. Me. And they even gave you a nod to the wrecking ball that he uses because yeah. he the, he had the piece from yeah, the, I thought the that was awesome. Route. That was fantastic. So, they definitely kicked it off this season a lot better with the inclusion of, of, of Bobby Morris' Mockingbird. Um, I think that's going to bring in a lot more... I, She's I was, doing a good job as that uh, character. I, you know me. I've always said I I like female actors. The problem is, is some female actors over toughen a female role. Like they play it too tough. Like you can see that they're playing it tough. You know what I'm saying? Instead of being tough, they're playing it tough. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like my per perfect example of a of a female character played that's tough. But it doesn't feel like she's being tough. Is uh, continuum like the girl in there? She plays that role almost perfect to me. Yeah, absolutely. Like she, you don't feel like she's playing a tough character, but you know, at the end of the day, she can handle herself. Like she can take care of whatever's in front of her, and I love that. Even though, yeah, she's obviously relying on technology a lot of times. Still, though, she plays that role great. So it's for me when I'm now, especially now that I've seen her play that role. To me, that's what I'm basing on character, you know, female character roles. Like, how tough are they really playing this role, and how well is it being portrayed that okay, she's just she can take care of herself. And overall, the the one that's playing that uh, Mockingbird, right? Is yeah. that what it is? I think she's doing a good job. There's some scenes I feel like she's trying to over toughen the role. I think but she's overall, good. I think she's doing a good job. I think she's I think good. She's I think she's a job. great addition. Uh, May to me was a great great choice like she, the, the the i always forget her name but the actress for that for the plays may mm -hmm. is fantastic she's been fantastic in everything i've ever seen her in and she's always been a Did strong you see eureka uh i've never seen Eureka. watch eureka because she's in the last i think the last two seasons she like takes over the town it's and great. but she's she's a fantastic actress um sky was originally very much kind of like a throw away like eh, okay and then you found out she was something more and then it was right. kind of like okay i mean I, all right and then like it was still it was still kind of just bonus like she was just kind of an extra character right and then with the whole like so the hydra thing went through and now it's now we're like bare knuckle trying to survive situation all right now we have to like, I need to buckle down. I need to really be an agent. Yeah. So the whole first, like, her, the half of the first season, so let's call it six months she spent training with Ward, was just kind of like some basic fighting skills and nothing major. And then she went to train with May for how long was it between shows? I would say maybe six months. Six months. So we call it a solid year of training. Right. Basic combat with Ward and then being awesome with May. Right. And then she was a badass. Like, they still played her, like, like tech geek and stuff, but Which she was like. very much more on point. And, and that's what I liked. I didn't like her kind of all over the place in the first season. I really liked her in the second season where she's just like, all right, boom, this is what we need to do, this is what we need to do. And then she went and shot Ward, I, and just I, like out of nowhere. Boom. I will say that, oh, and I love that, by that the way. I, I want to bring that up in a second. But she actually does play a tough character good she doesn't overplay the toughness yeah. like it's surprising because i hated her mm -hmm. as i'm a science geek 
And I'm like, you're you're really not convincing me of that. Right, like but I'm not, like, I'm not playing, loving this. But then her playing a, a a tougher role, like where she's trained and now she's somewhat of a bad. She's still not made badass, but she's a badass. You know, she clearly like Ward pointed out in the last episode. Oh, you're paying attention to this, and you're you know you're you're watching how many guards there are in the rotations. Like that's good of you. You know, like he's realizing what she's doing, and I'm like. Yeah, and she like it's it's good to see the character is supposed to be tough, but she's not playing it like right. I am a badass. And I definitely see what you mean in comparison to to Mockingbird. She she's definitely playing the role a little a, a little overdone, right. and it's I, I don't know what what why it's doing that way, why yeah. she's doing it that way. I, I don't know why it's going in that direction, but I definitely see what you mean by it, and. and I think it's going to be interesting once they flesh out that character a little more. Right. That little throwaway line, I don't know if you caught it, when she was talking to Mac right before they went in to the to the Inhuman City. Um, she, you know, he was like, hey, so did you, did you bring him in on that other thing? And she was like, no, no, and I'm not going to. And he was like, understood. And then he went. Yeah, I kind of and uh, shook that off, but I didn't know. I didn't know what that was about. I, I don't know if that was like, is it like a weird, like, is she doing Mac and does she want to get in like a threesome or, right? <laughs> no. Or, or no. is it like there's a completely, uh, like, is she Hydra? Right. Because that would be jacked up. No. Wait, wait, wait. You know, I don't think now that's that what I, it was. Now that I think about it, depending on the rights, depending on the rights, in the, in the comics, Mockingbird was one of the people that was. <laughs> Mockingbird was one of the people that was um, taken over by Skrulls during the Secret Invasion. Yeah, but I don't think that's what the, I don't think. But they would have been like, "Oh, did you tell them that? Because why would they, why would she tell them that she's?" Well, he said, "Were you going to bring him in on that? Does that mean it, let's 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 suppose that that's what that is? She's she's a Skrull. He Max a Skrull." And they wanna they wanna take him over as well. So here's my thing. That's a possibility to right. me. But again, depending on how the rights are, because if Fox owns those rights along with Fantastic Four, we're never gonna see that. Right. If they don't, that could be Phase Three. Sure. Because if Hydra was Phase Two, Phase Three could be Secret Invasion. Right, right. Because that's all space we're going. We're working in towards. Uh, the Infinity War and going the Inhumans, uh, in, and Inhumans, Kree. And if you have the scroll, if they have the scroll license, except that was the Chitari. So like the Chitari in Ultimate, which is somewhat what this is all based on, is the replacement for the Scroll uh, Empire. So listen, I'm not gonna be guessing game. So anyway, I, and, and honestly, I'm I will just say this. I will say this. Normally, I pay attention to the show, so I might have missed something. And that's why she said it, because normally, but then again, like I said, I haven't, I'm not going to lie, when it comes down to this show, even though it's gotten better, okay, there's definitely been a lot more, mm -hmm. um, it's, I'm still not paying 100% attention to it, and, 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 and so not everything, so I could have missed something in the episode, which one of our viewers might be like, oh, you idiots. Right. Well, this Seriously. happened, and that's why they Seriously. said that. Come on, they're talking, about, like, they're talking about the poker game on Thursdays. Yeah, so I <laughs> haven't been, I won't lie, like when this, when I'm watching the episodes, I'm not 100% mm -hmm. like I would be with other shows and catch something and be like, well, yeah, they said that because of this, Right. where I would normally. So I might have missed something in the episode and not realized that's what they were talking about, where I would have probably noticed with a different show. Because it's still, yes, it's grabbing my attention more, but it's still that show that I started not liking. So right, okay. it's still going to take some okay. time for me to be like 100% than you know, paying attention to what's going on on the screen. Absolutely. Where I love Marvel movies, just this particular show, it's kind of been a disappointment until now. So it's, you know, it'll take me a little bit. I might rewatch it just to see if I missed something. But sure. But um, you know who knows? Maybe maybe I did miss something. Maybe it was something that was never just mentioned. And they just figured they tossed that. They line tossed in. that in. Maybe just like an extra plot point. Maybe we'll do something in season three with it. You know. So let's talk about the mid-season finale. To me, I loved it. I enjoy. Oh, I enjoyed it. I mean, I like how much happened it. in it. Well, like 
uh, involving the alien technology, the one guy getting taken over by touching and yeah. being like Matt, a, Mac kind of being a bad guy yeah, for a two episodes. For two episodes. Uh, and I was I was worried that they were because I like him and they kill. Uh, I thought they were gonna kill him off and they didn't. But they killed off the other guy, which I also liked. yeah. They I was killed like, off no. Trip. I didn't like the fact they killed oh, off Trip. I was like, come on. So what I'm thinking they're gonna do is they're probably gonna bring in another like maybe known character sure. in season three. Or at least in the second season, right, or season right. two, second half. Yeah, I was. Um, I was. I was. I wasn't sad happy with that. that. They got rid of Trip. So somebody, I, I forget who I was watching or reading online. Somebody had mentioned that the reason they did that was that that her transformation had to have like a emotional thing, right? Sure. So she. So basically, if she had just calmed the hell down, if she would, she had just like, all right, this is happening. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna work with it. But she was like, Trip, help me. So he kicked the, the crystal and it hit him. And it hit him. And yeah. because he wasn't, he's not inhuman, he got to turn sure. into stone. So she saw him turn into stone. Yeah, I was wondering what he did when, when, because I know he did something. I didn't see the kick. I Neither did he did I. Like shoot or something. Neither did I. He, so, but he kicked it and it, it hit him in the stomach. And, uh, yeah, I was wondering, you know, like, as I thought I saw an arrow in his gun, I'm like, when did that show up? Like, right. And I was like, yeah, no, it shattered. And that's why I was like, why, why did it shatter? And then I, I realized that he had kicked him, right? Uh, or kicked it rather. And uh, so the, the 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 what they were saying, on, I think it was SourceFed actually. What I think they were saying, it had to have meaning. Like her freak out and her showing her abilities right. had to have meaning. Here's the thing, Sky's Sky's Daisy Johnson. So, like we said earlier, there were spoilers. So if you're still watching this, well, and I mean, you didn't they, see the episode. She, the dad <laughs> says Daisy, and we. Yeah, he know, says. He it's said Daisy at the beginning of the episode, and I was like, "Oh my goodness, no, totally not! Like it can't be. They're not gonna. I'm like, they're not gonna do it. I'm like, is it Daisy Johnson? And then right at the end, the ground starts shaking, and I'm like, earthquake powers! Oh, she's Daisy freaking Johnson! See, to me, I thought the ground was just shaking because he he did the crystal, he knocked it out, and it caused some kind of right, you know. And for a sec, for a second, I thought it was too. So but then, when they, when then they like it came together scene, in my head, and it sure. was like. Daisy, and now there's, there's an earthquake, and I was like, oh. yeah, because to me it was like, oh well, he disturbed something, so it's causing this to have like an earthquake effect. I didn't think she was causing the earthquake, right? Because so when she came out of it, I was like, oh, she's like nothing's happening. I think that's but the reason the other that, girl, that it shot the off. Other girl that she's got the spikes. Away, she's got the yeah, and she walked away. In Did the she dark. walk away? She she like she like disappeared into the dark. She stepped backwards. And I was like, so. And I the, was like, the spikes on her, the spikes on her face. I don't know who she is. Well, I thought, like, I thought her face looked like almost like a cat, like a, like a feline, like her, her nose almost looked like that. At least I could have sworn that's what I saw, but I, I don't know again, who she is. I might There's have a lot of paying the, attention, like I normally do. Somebody so. pointed out, uh, I think Lieberman pointed out on SourceFed that the the blind guy, the guy with no eyes, rather. Uh, might be a character in one of the newer Inhuman series. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they call him Blindfold, um, where he can touch anything and bring it to life. So they blinded him, or rather, he, anything he reads, he can he can bring to life. So they blinded him, but then he carries like a, a like a metal plate of Braille right. that, or, on his waist, so and he then he can still, still bring read. stuff to right. life by reading it. Um, so I think that'd be cool. It's interesting to me that there's another obelisk. Because right, from what I understand, that, right. it, there's one Terrigen crystal. Well, one like Terrigen crystals. Right. It's like one thing. Right. But they must have split it up or something. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking it's it's one crystal. It's like the Zeal crystals in Power right, Rangers. Right. 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 <laughs> there's five of them. They bring them together. They get the swords. Exactly. So <laughs> I think what happened maybe the the crystal. All right. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. The battery died. We forgot to plug it in. We're, we weren't paying attention to the battery. So as I was saying, I don't know what I, what was I saying. Oh, the crystals. So I think what it is is it, what, like you said, it's because I didn't, I don't know about the Inhumans, so I never knew the story. I knew Inhumans, right? That's it. Like I knew the title, sure, and I knew they were, you know, not human. So whatever. Fair. That's all I knew. That's a good. That's a good. <laughs> that's that's about it. So I didn't know how much they actually had to do with the Marvel Universe. I know they were part of Marvel, but like how much, in, how involved were they with like the Avengers and stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? So, sure. But um, so the original. I mean, to give so, you give you a quick idea, originally, and this is they they kind of touched on this, the Kree eons ago, prior to the, like during the age of Neanderthals, if not a little earlier, came to Earth and basically took a chunk of humans, 
and forcibly evolved them. Okay. And they kind of went in two different directions. They went either and became inhumans, and they became uh, intelligent and, and you know powerful and all sure. these things, or they became what they called um, the... Uh, Forget the name. I'll throw it up on the screen. But they became basically like a super devolved, and they're just like cro magnon oh, okay. but like forever. Oh, okay. Um, but like strong, but stupid, right, basically. Right, right. That's kind of the way it went. They went intelligent, powerful, and strong, and stupid. Um, so that's kind of the line that they're coming from, and if that's what they're going with, which it seems like they are, which makes sense why the Kree blood would help sure. and things like that, um, it worries me a bit because does that mean that Coulson is Cree, since the blood worked for him. It is somewhat worked though, like it worked to heal him, but that's true. But it made him crazy. That's true. Where she didn't experience any of the craziness. That's, that's one hundred percent true. She did not sketch or carve anything. Where all the other people that were experimenting, they all had the issue with carving this until they figured out what it was. Right. So apparently, like... That was a great moment, That was a great moment. He looks down, he's like, it's not two-dimensional. Right, like... And I was like, like, thank you! Like, he saw it, and, like, that's where the insanity went away, because they, like, their brain... I I just want to know how they got the dimensions, right? So they went from what was effectively a top-down view... Right. That he went from a map to somehow a three-dimensional map outline, uh, outline of the entire city. How did he figure that out? Who, the guy? No, Coulson. So, remember, once he figured out that it wasn't two-dimensional, uh-huh. so he, that was the last piece. Like, that, it was three-dimensional. Right. So then, where, like, where was... Because remember, he had all the little pieces that he got from various locations uh-huh. and from the, his carvings. And he said, I'm only missing a few pieces. So that was the top-down view of a map. Right. You know, just like if you look at a Google map well, view I mean, of this... You're right, going to see the I mean, layout. Just, you're not going to see how deep things are. Sure, but I mean, who knows? But then they still, like, search for it by maybe, depth, which is weird to me. Maybe, maybe... Yeah, who knows? Science, magic, who yeah, knows? Yeah, who knows? Doctor like, Strange came by and was like, here. Here. <laughs> which I can't I have wait. Agamotto. Which I cannot wait, but uh, uh, that's a whole different... So, overall, for that part of it, I mean, I'm just going to finish it up because I think this has been really long. Yeah. And we still got two more shows to talk about. This is true. Um, But... I enjoyed uh, the ending. Um, like I said, I didn't like. I'm, you know, I like Trip, so I didn't like seeing him pet. You know, die. But I think it was kind of throwaway but death. But then again, to me, it's Josh Whedon, so death. I'm just waiting for, <laughs> I guess, because he likes to kill off characters. It's true. And bring them back. It's ex- true. Also, so it's like, so if somebody comes back, I won't be shocked as much as I'm shocked. You know, somebody dying. So sure, sure. Uh, nothing against Josh. Josh is a great, great oh, director. Yeah, so, absolutely. And absolutely. a creator. So I, I, nothing against him. It's just you know, this is something that's expected. I mean, Firefly. What was it? Firefly was the show. Serenity. Serenity. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. They, they killed. Uh, yeah. The the funny pilot. What's his name? Can't remember. Anything. Anyway, the pilot died, but that Nathan saw... always jokes around with. He Let's... always like every panel they sit down together. He always jokes about his death. <laughs> yeah, great. but well, he uh, and he uh, also the uh, the preacher died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah the preacher yeah, yeah, died yeah, right yeah, at the beginning. Right. Yeah, yeah. The preacher died right at the beginning. Uh, so but anyway. tangent, tangent. And but uh, I, I enjoyed uh, overall. I enjoyed it. Like I said, I didn't. I wish they kind of played it a little differently with making it seem like she was causing the earthquake. I think that's the only thing I will say. But otherwise, the this mid-season, overall the season, the half the season, has been good. Uh, once again, I'm coming from not enjoying the show, so it's still taking me some time to sure. actually enjoy it and invest my attention to it. Yeah, so. for me it was, I liked the show, I really liked it, um, mainly as a diehard fan. Um, I mean, I definitely saw the flaws in it, but I like. I really enjoyed the show. Um, I, any any Shield specific comic I've ever read was very much spy related, so the first season to me was just kind of par for the course. Right. Um, so going from that to an even more exciting first half of the season two, um, I'm super stoked, and I can't wait for January. Yeah, I can't wait to see if uh, if they're actually. I hope, I truly hope that first episode we see her using her powers. I want to see it. That'd be awesome. Because that's going to hook me. Because, like, you don't start out slow. Like, you end it with this 
epic thing, right? Like they're all different now. Well, not all, but at least them two, and you got this blind guy. I, I'm not I gonna lie. Some I'm not gonna lie. I would love for her to rise from the like wreckage of that city, just like. It like crumbles around. around it right. crumbles around her, and then she just like comes out of it. I agree. I agree. That'd be awesome. So that'd be definitely. Interesting. I should write the show. So now, are we gonna do Flash or Arrow? So I think we should do Arrow first. All right. So okay. Arrow, Arrow to me has been a really amazing series. Oh my god. Um, I, I literally there's it, not once I could say I was disappointed with an episode. Even the slow episodes. I've never been disappointed. I have and to I know, agree. I, and I know, like, that's really, it's hard to say that because it's like, oh, especially about series. so many episodes. Yeah, especially but, about series. But it, it's really, like, even the slow episodes where there was still action, because you got to look at it. Almost every episode, there's action. So to be I mean, able to throw show. in, sure, and, but to throw in action with all the drama that's involved mm -hmm. on every episode and even, is and, and even when it's just a little bit of action, yeah. uh, I'll be honest. I called Thea being the killer episode one. Yeah, me too. Episode Remember, one, I, said it was, I was like, like we Thea. were talking it's, about. It's, it. I was like, it has to be Thea because. And the reason I said that is trained. that they they showed a picture on I think comic book resources showed a picture of Merlin and Thea in gear, and I was like, that's I'm like they'll have Thea be the killer. Right. That only makes sense, right? right? And then as they showed her being more deceptive and training more and harder, I was like, it's. Definitely feel. <laughs> I will say this with Arsenal or Red Arrow or Speedy or whatever you want to call them. Wow. <laughs> um, you, for me, when they played off that he was still had some Mercuru in him and he was being affected by it and that's why he doesn't remember doing it. They played me. That was a, they that was played a, me. I was, hate you, Stephen Amell and the creators. Of that Marvel. was re, that was a really that <laughs> was again me. that was very much a matter of like, was like man really? like is this what happened? I'm like oh that sucks. I was like that's because that's not even like a he did it because he's still bad or he did it because he's like was just straight up taken over. It was just like had a blackout, killed a friend, woke up. Right. Like, like I was like oh like man. that's just like an incidental kill where it's just like you're just feel like shit for the rest right, of your life. Right. But uh no, but they play that really good and uh and then finding out that it's Thea like we said originally because I called it too. I, I was like I know it's Thea it had because to be it Thea. only makes it sense. It had to be Thea because like, she's gonna have to be she's gonna have to be uh, uh, re or a redeeming sure. hero. She's well, going to have to redeem only, herself. But the only thing was like, why would she do it? You know, she doesn't have any right. hate for her. And that's so why. So when I, they played off that Merlin just used something yeah. to basically induce her to doing it. Especially now that uh, she's like even more loyal more to him. Yeah, now she's even more loyal to him. So that betrayal is going to cut harder. Oh, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. So much harder than anything else. So, it, But here's my thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna go off Thea. I'm gonna go to something else. I'm gonna go to his death, Arrow's death. <sighs> Come on, guys. If you at the beginning listen, of the season when they first showed Raish, and it's Raish. It's Raish. It's Stephen Amell. If you ever see this, it's Raish. But Al he Gore. called them Raish in like season one or two. Yeah, originally it was Raish. Who's calling? It, it, it's probably the wife. It is the wife. I'll she can wait. Call her she can wait. <laughs> wait, woman. Um, he did call him Raish. He, he did call him Raish, and then it's like everyone else calls him Raish, and then but here's what's funny. Stephen Amell's got to call him Roz. Yeah, for some reason. Roz. Yeah, for some reason. Just like it wasn't Falcone, it's not Roz. Right, right. Damn but you! It's, it, but damn you! What but, was his face? I don't know. <laughs> Christopher Nolan. Sure, um, but. Um, mm -hmm. Like, it's funny, because he called them Raish, and then I don't know why they changed him calling them Ross. But because, it's only because, him, because everyone else calls him Raish. Because the daughter, the daughter calls him Raish. Yeah. The daughter calls him by the nick. The, but the I mean, it doesn't bother Raish. me as much as it would bother somebody, like, that's really a fan, but to me, Especially like, having watched, like, what was it, seven years of of the animated series where they right, call right, them right, Raish right. for seven solid sure, years. Absolutely. And you can't tell me that, like, all of a sudden... Because somebody... At some, I forget where it was. Somebody had pointed out that, like, DC had, like, decided that it was Roz. So that, like, that it was actually wrong on the series for seven years it was wrong. I'm like, no, it wasn't wrong for seven years. Right. Like, someone would have caught that. Right. <laughs> so, but here's the thing, guys. He went to go fight... Raish, right? The, and the devil. The he went to go head. fight him. If you know anything about the character, he has a pit that literally rejuvenates him. Yeah. Like from I, wounds. I just expected him to right off. Like, right, and right like into, tumble the into the pit. Like just like bounce off a rock. So the here's the thing. So at the end of the episode, right? Yeah, he said there was a dad, He's laying there. 
some you watch a little you preview. Said that was, yeah, was yeah preview. somebody walks up and you know they're gonna grab them, right? You know they're gonna grab them and put them in the and somebody said I what I was looking at the comments online something and they're like, Oh, it's uh the Rache's daughter puts him in the pit because she knows he's not the killer. I'm like, No, no, no. It's the dude that he knows from his days in China that's there, watch them fight, he clearly grabs him and puts him in the pit. Ah, because it, well it could be Nissa. But you know, I think it's both of them. But you know what? Would but be I think it's definitely him but, down there grabbing them. But you know, what, you know, you know, would be super G. And if this would be, this would require some cojones from from Warner Brothers and everyone running that show. If it was Talia, this would that would require some balls. But it's not. I I think it could be. It's. Not. I think it could it's be. It's not. It's the guy. It's the guy he knows from China. It's him. He's going to do it. You're probably right. He's going to do probably it. Right. Because you got to think about it. One, okay, nothing against females. They are strong and they can do everything. I want to put that out right uh, now. Uh, this is uh, Steven. Hate. This just, is, just hate, no, it's hate not. the comments. Listen, okay, muscular dude. He's got to weigh buck 80, right? Hurry. Buck 80, at least. Yeah, but no, listen, I mean, what you see on... TV. Uh, what I, what I, what yeah, I, what I, he's probably yeah, buck eighty. Yeah, buck eighty. Because what I've learned uh, is you don't have to weigh a lot to look that muscular. So, this is true. One one eighty, right? Give or take one eighty. I'm not saying the daughter can't do it, but it's probably going to be a lot easier for his buddy from China to lift him up and get him to the pit. Because right that's now, a, that's a lifeless body. Like it's yeah, dead be weight is dead weight. Like that's dead weight. That's dead. Hundred eighty pounds. <laughs> 180 pounds of dead weight you got to lift up and get to the pit. I'm sure he's not right by the pit, but he's got to get right. to the it's, pit. Right, it's likely at the base of the mountain. So That's when he died, now Stephen Amell made a comment. I do follow him on Facebook because the guy's awesome, guys. I, I, I think the guy's just great. He's a cool, he's really he's a cool dude. Just get but, uh, right. But he put on there, like... When it first happened, obviously a lot of people were like, "What arrow's dead? This is stupid. I'm not watching." And he even, he even commented, he was, "It's like he was it's like, been a good run." But it, right, he did he did that on I think Twitter. on Twitter, but then on Facebook, he was like, "Guys, uh, you know, I'm I'm super excited to see everybody so involved in the episode and the series, and I, you know, I want to make sure that everybody understands this show is not just about one person." And he's absolutely right. They've actually built a lot of those characters. Like, yeah. uh, uh, Diggle, I love it. Uh, Speedy, he... Uh, his character, like, I like the guy. I like the actor. Uh, Haynes, something Haynes, I think is his I name. Know. But he's, like, I like him as an actor. I think he fits the persona, like, the guy. He looks yeah. just like... Uh, speedy, in my opinion. Like, especially Those, after you know, watching Teen Titans, uh, where they're all grown up. Young Justice. Young Justice. Thank you. <laughs> Teen Titans. Young Come Justice. Come on now. Come on. Young Justice. After watching that, like he, like you take the guy that was drawn in Young Justice and you put that yeah. next to him, and I'm like, yeah, I would that's say the that's, same dude. That's, <laughs> like, yeah, that's a very, so it's very he's close. He's fit. He's, you know, I, he, he looks like he does. I mean, I'm sure they, you know, they do have stunt guys, but Stephen Amell does his, a lot of his stunts, mm -hmm. and he, you, like, if you watch any of his videos that he posts up on Facebook or YouTube, you can see him j doing. Um, uh, parkour and stuff like that in the gym so like the guy doesn't know how to do his own stunts and sure. for the show um, so I'm sure even that guy does uh, the speedy actor he even does I'm sure some of his stunts and, and he's fit you can see he's fit so I like the guy it's just them developing that character is so slow to me but then again they have a hundred characters like That's true. So there's so That's many true. to develop so, but like it, I feel like between him and and uh, um, Thea, the love relationship, I didn't care about. Like I didn't. It would be it. super weird. I didn't care for it. So them not being in a relationship doesn't bother me. Yeah, it'd I be feel super like they weird. still need to work on him. Like they need to. I don't think he could carry the show. I don't I think, think he could carry the show. No. So I think what they're gonna do, at least for part of the second half of the, the season, is. I think they'll have the, it, it be about the team. Well, yeah, he'll, you got he'll Diggle, be out. Smoke, he'll yeah. be him and him and uh, Dig will be out, kind of doing the actual heavy lifting. He'll be out there proving himself, basically, right. that he can carry the mantle. And, and and Felicity will be will be back up, and I think they'll also bring in uh, Adam. Right. I think Adam will come into yeah, play absolutely, as well because 
they still have to develop because he's supposed to be Adam in the show. He's supposed yeah, to man, be. and they show and, the armor and, they show, and everything. Yeah, they're showing the armor and the name of it. Um, but they got to develop that somehow. So I think it's, I think I it's think cool. By, by Arrow being out of commission for a little while and introducing Adam, it's like, well, you know, this guy that was protecting the city, you know, he's not around right now protecting the city. And, you know, I'm sure Diggle and, and Speedy and Smoke, they're going to try to figure out what's going on with uh, Oliver and where's he at, what happened, you know, trying to find him. So somebody's got to protect the city. Right. You got to well, toss in Adam. Right. And the... What I think is interesting is that they, he, when he shows Felicity, he says that it's based on the OMAC technology, right. which is a bit dangerous because that's, that's. I mean, if, if if you guys read any of the comics, OMAC was kind of a huge thing where, um, depending on which one you read, it's what it stands for: One Man Army, Armed Corps, or Army Corps. Um, and originally, it was just a guy who was just like ultra powered. Uh, later, it was humans taken over by nanotechnology. To basically be at at the at the beck and call of the, the satellite that Batman built. No. Um, but we gotta we gotta hurry this up. Right. It's almost four. I gotta go. I know. I know. So overall, Arrow mid season, fantastic. Yeah, yeah. It Arrow. should be it should be super awesome for oh, the second yeah. half. Listen, for, like I said, every season I watched of them never was disappointed. There was plenty of stuff that just hooked me, even mm -hmm. for the. Like, even though there was maybe some slow episodes in some of the seasons, which I can't remember at all, right. uh, it just, the rest of the season just hooked me. And so yeah. far this it's season, been a great series just like overall. Walking Dead, this season has just kept going and going. And, and even though it took a while for them to show, which obviously they were building out to the mid-season finale, but to show who killed, uh, yeah. you know, Sarah... It, it makes sense because they needed to get that all oh, wow you know this just happened for the mid season so I can't I, wait to see what they do for the season finale I was yeah I it, it'll it'll that. be nuts I mean the the great thing is for me because of the two shows because they're coexisting with Flash they've done the crossover for that really well yeah, yeah. Um, it's just like a little bit here and there couple episodes you know Felicity's on Flash etc right. so like oh, I love the crossovers I think yeah, they did a great Flash job Flash has, has started really strong. When they did that little after credit sequence in like last season in, in Arrow, I lost my mind. I was just like, it's just like the comic. Right, right. It was so perfect. And they, they really ran well with the show. A lot yeah. of the stuff they've done is, has been really fantastic. Um, specifics, uh, I'm not 100% sure who the Doctor is. I don't so we're know. talking about Flash now. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're switching to Flash. Man, that was quick. Uh, I didn't even see the transition, yeah. how good that was. In a Flash. Transition. <laughs> In a Flash. Um, dude, yeah, that was the biggest. Dr. Wells is such a mystery because it's like, okay, clearly, if you watch the last episode, which what well, we're talking about, mid-season finale, you see him with reverse Flash's suit, okay? But you also saw him with reverse Flash 10 minutes you, earlier. Yeah, you also saw reverse Flash beating the crap out of him. So, and, and, and he explained okay, to and, me that... There are it's, two. There, that it's Reverse Flash. It's him. It's Dr. Wells coming back in time to grab that, but he sees himself, so he's got to make it look right and beat himself up. But I'm thinking, okay, Dr. Wells is probably more like Bart and Reverse Flash. You're thinking he, he's just straight up Bart Allen. I think he might be Bart Allen. And reverse flash is because he stopped and looked at Ed, oh, right, Eddie? He looked at Eddie and he straight up looked at him. He beat up all the other cops and he straight up like stood next in front of Eddie real quick, looked at him, and then went into the force field again. So here's the thing. To grab the thing and so I Professor Zoom, Professor Zoom, the original reverse flash. Okay. Is Eobard Thon. And Thon is Eddie's last name. So it could be him or his his descendant, right? That's the current reverse so flash. So I see the problem. I guess the problem here for me is looking at time travel theory. It's like hard, it's hard. Don't try to Because there's so many. Because there's been so many <laughs> versions of how time travel works, right? In some movies, if you watched it, if somebody, if a future self comes to the past and meets his past or present at that moment, self. 
there's some sort some of sort effect. Of something like happens. Effect. Something happens. Either that person ceased to exist, the present one, and the future one is now the present one, or something completely else happens, or nothing happens at all. It's just they met each other. So it's tough to say. Obviously, if, if they're going this way, and it is Eddie's like descendant. ancestor or descendant. descendant or whatever it is, and Dr. Wells is that descendant, then clearly they're going with a theory like you can have two of the same person don't really conflict with the timeline, which is what it seems like they might be doing. So, the, 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 the other Zoom is Hunter Zolomon, which is a completely different character right. that was tied to Wally West. And okay. he was the one that was dedicated, that, that was kind of mainly dedicated to right. making, making Flash a better hero. Right. Um, Thawne... Yeah, Thawne is just kind of evolved into a really bad guy. Right. Um, he... And, I mean, Doctor Wells and, is doing what reverse what you explained. When reverse Flash was there for not just bad. being a not just being a bad guy. So he could but be literally, but literally pushing Flash to be the better Flash. Right. So technically, Doctor Wells is doing that in and out of the suit. You know what I'm saying? Like in the suit, he's protecting, or you know, he's um, conflicting with Flash. To make him, you know, to make him want that, um, I wouldn't say revenge, but more like vengeance. Uh, where, where out of the suit, he's protected him by stopping other people getting involved into his business. Like he killed uh, um, the one guy in the beginning of the season. Who was he? Like he just straight up stabbed him. Right. Uh, as like he stood up out of his wheelchair and was like... <laughs> he just yeah, he straight was, up killed a guy. That was um, so technically he, he that tells me he's Reverse Flash. But then he gets beat up by Reverse Flash, and then you're like, it's, okay, it's so really clearly it's really hard to like decide honestly. Right. The the big takeaways for me, I mean, that was kind of just like an incidental, like whoa, that's just like an extra crazy in my brain thing. The main thing that really struck me with that last episode was. When Cisco was like, hey, so when they were fighting, two streaks, right? One yellow, one red. That's why I was like... And he's like, Barry, when he saw that as a kid, there were two two lightnings. Right. There was a red and a yellow lightning. Right. So that means there was two speedsters. That's that why I was thinking one's so, Bart and one's reverse flash. So it could be Bart. It could be... I mean, dude, it could be a number of people because it could it could be Wally. I mean... Which I mean, they, they would have to have baby. He would have to have babies with, or not babies. He would have to get baby. involved with West because right. uh, Wally is West's nephew. Right. Uh, Iris is what nephew. Sure. I don't know why I was calling West. Um, uh, no, I knew who you were talking about, but I don't know, man. It's tough to say. It was it's, a hell of a season. Finale. It was a hell of a season. Or finale. I'm sorry, mid-season finale. Right, mid-season finale. They did. They literally. It's not. I mean, to most people, are like, come on, guys, it's common sense. Clearly, he's reverse Flash, and the story is he, you know, went back before. He went he, back before it's like, to kick his it, butt it's, to make it's it the, look uh, like he's not what, reverse what's Flash. The, what's the term? It's the, the, um... But the, I feel like I it's should... The, it's the Bill and Ted, uh... Methodology, right? right? Like, if you if you ever seen Bill and Ted at the end of the, at the end of the movie, there is a huge fight that they have, and the whole fight happens by saying, "Well, after I win, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna put the key right here," and then they get out right, of the right, cage, right, right, right. and it's just like that's the mentality I'm having at this point. It's just like, all right, well, he's on the way to becoming Reverse Flash, or getting the necessary pieces to become Reverse Flash. Because here's the thing: he's from the future. There's no question about right, that. Right. He has a device that reads the future. Right. So he might not be Flash at all. Who? The professor. Dr. Wells? Wells. I'm saying. He might not be any Flash. Well, that's not how did he change his voice though. He changed his voice just like Flash when he looked at the yellow suit, he said, Merry Christmas or whatever. He said, ho, ho, Merry Christmas in the uh, Flash voice. 
Ah, oh, that's true. Because here was my theory. So he because he always he spends... vibrated his whatever tonsil long. Whatever. But then why did he say Merry Christmas to the suit? Because he like that's him looking at his suit, and like he's thinking to himself. He got himself a present. Is that kind of like the... no, like like he's looking at the suit, you know, assuring the audience here's who he is, and then saying Merry Christmas, Barry. Like, but to himself, he's saying it because. He's trying to give him something to go for. You know what I'm saying? Like he's doing his job as the reverse see, okay, flash that he's supposed okay, to. Okay, I see what you're saying. The only thing I thought of uh, was maybe he could be uh, one of... Because he's definitely a flash. He did the whole voice thing. Yeah, yeah. I, well, the only thing I was going to say is he because of the time travel, because he has that device that reads the future, Right. Um, I was thinking he might be Metron, which is one of the new gods, and he, he spends his time in a chair monitoring people's activities and seeing how future timelines Well, maybe happen. then he's holding that. No, because he, he did the voice. He did the voice. He and that's it, the voice, but, like, Metron is one of the new gods, so there's any number of possibilities there. True that. So, uh, Listen, good job, the creators of Arrow and Flash, for, absolutely, like, confusing absolutely. the crap out of Flash. <laughs> Uh, absolutely. Even though the season's been great. Absolutely. I absolutely love it. I, I love it's the a fact little more cartoony, but I don't mind it. I love the fact that we finally had a fight. I like the fact that there's... Oh, I, love, I love the people. end of Arrow when they're when Arrow's like, what, you really don't want to know who's the better of the two? <laughs> like, I love it. Hey, he's alright, dude. He's again, alright? <laughs> I was like, I loved it. I loved yeah, it. Yeah, that was, that was great. I mean, Final thoughts. Final thoughts. We gotta go. I gotta go. Everything... I, Everything I'm excited to see every single... I, I, I'm excited for January. I'm excited That's all for. I can say. I'm excited I, there's for. There's not one show that I'm not excited for. I'm excited for. for January. I wish Gotham was a little better. It's the only thing out of all those that, uh, or, or yeah, DC I, I will give you that. Gotham is the only one that I'm not excited for. And I hope I, they I, I want to see the rest of it. But I, I, I'm not excited for it. I hope they don't cancel Constantine, even though the acting is great. Or good. Uh, yeah, see, I like Constantine because you got to understand. To like to put it in context for me is I just finished watching seven or eight seasons of Charmed. Like, I like magic shows. You should watch Supernatural. I love Supernatural. I will watch Supernatural. It's but, like, basically I just, Constantine I just, with two brothers. I just <laughs> watched that, and, like, so to, to go into this, I'm just, like, I understand all the terminology, like, right, scrying, right, right, all this right. stuff. Like, I understand all of this. I'm ready to go. But then it's just, like, you have those moments of acting, and it's like, eh. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching us yeah. nerd out. And, uh, uh, make sure Absolutely. you like, subscribe, check out T3Dtech.com. We have that winter contest going on. Guys, so if you made yes. it this far, jump in on that winter if contest. Watched, we'll have an annotation right Whatever, our 40, 45 minutes of us <laughs> talking. Um, please, um, we've sent out, uh, we've tried to, how can I say this? We We're trying to, to give people some free stuff. Yeah, you know, we try to contact the, peop the winners, but they're not sending any information back it's been a month so we're gonna pick new winners we're gonna pick new winners from, uh, from and the we're gonna first contact two contests. Those winners. we haven't picked them yet so please pay attention to however you your inbox us. on most likely YouTube. on youtube yeah so pay attention we otherwise give you our stuff or your stuff the giveaway stuff free pay stuff attention. free stuff free stuff so pay attention to your inbox uh full throttle three bro see Sign you guys off. stuff